Karis was born with a condition called Charge Syndrome. Charge Syndrome is a whole host of deformities. It ranges from loss of sight, hearing problems or deafness, um, heart problems, in Karis's case severe heart problems, um, problems with your lungs, breathing, um, to which she was originally on a ventilator, tracheostomy because she has no airway of her own, she can't speak or swallow so she has a gastrostomy so she's tube fed everything, all her medication and all her milk because um, she doesn't have normal food like everybody else. If that tracheostomy comes out, we have around 10-15 seconds um, before she stops breathing, which meant that Karis can never be left on her own. I love just watching her being a normal kid. I now no longer see so much of the medical side. She, she, her behavioural issues don't scare me as much anymore. It's just the enjoyment of seeing her being a normal kid is just amazing. She can be quite a handful at times, but the, the good things and the funny things that she does just outweigh all of that. We try to have a normal house, but it's not a normal house because it's not normal to have carers in your home, for example. They do get close. I think they, um, it's like having a big sister, isn't it, in the house? That's the way I describe it. It's like Caris has got lots of big sisters. So don't get me wrong, she knows that they're nurses, she knows what they do. They help do the medical stuff so that I can be mum rather than a nurse all the time and that's really important. It, they're also able to help me spend some time with my other children or to just be mum for her. They're like part of the family, part of the furniture almost. We have to take a huge amount of equipment out with us when we go out, whether she goes to school or just the shop down the road. We take everything everywhere. So oxygen cylinders are the main ones. One that's for an emergency with an ambi bag for resuscitation, another one for nebulizers to keep her airways clear. Um, like you or me would cough and sneeze and we could clear it, Karis can't do that, so you'd have to suction it to keep that airway clear and open. She goes here, there and everywhere. She goes on a train, she loves trains. She goes over to Bognor for the day, Bournemouth, um, the Gosport Ferry, which is one of her, her biggest treats that she likes. She wants, like any other kid, to be like a, a grown-up or a teenager or whatever and be that cool kid. Karis can easily clear your bank account if you give her a, a bag in Claire's accessories, as I learned one day. And I know because of her personality that she wants to get out there and look at all kinds of things. That's something that obviously would be very difficult for us to do, her to do without me or the, and the other children. Um, it'd be all of us going out where it's something with her carers and she could do without all of us being there. Something independent, and I think that's really important now that she's getting older. We might choose the destination, but then she will choose what shops she wants to go to. So she will either go straight to the DVDs or the magazines or the toy section or something like pretty much any kid would want to do um, of her age. When she's had her bath, she comes back downstairs in her little pyjamas um, with wet hair and she'll sit there and she'll allow them to dry her hair in her chair and she can have her milk feed, her tea time feed on at the same time and that's also iPad time. But she likes exploring things and she plays them over and over. Will Smith, she's obsessed with Will Smith. She loves all his films. In the shop the other day we got um, eight um, Will Smith DVDs and she picked, um, I couldn't see these, these were all on their ends and she picked them out, all these Will Smith ones, before any of us could see them. And she was just that one, that one, that one and that one. It was amazing. It's so easy as a parent to, to run out of steam, to end up in what they call burnout. Anybody with a complex care child will know what, exactly what burnout is and it's so easy to get to that stage. So the care is paramount, it's so important and continuity for Karis because she needs it. She's never going to be without care unfortunately because of her medical condition is, is, and it is so severe. So the care is extremely important. Um, so yeah, her, her care package has been, yeah, a godsend. 
Karis is so unique, so unique. There's no other child out there like her, I don't think. Karis is, she's feisty, she's stubborn, she's cheeky, um, she's got a great sense of humour. She's very loving, she likes her kisses and her hugs. They're not always very gentle hugs. She does make you smile. It's pretty amazing to watch her be a normal kid.